Hello, my name is Naftali, Naftali Ida. I manage the application engineering team here at Stratasys for the Polyjet technology. Today we're going to talk about 3DF, 3D fashion, the printer options that we have within GrabCAD Print and the features that you can select and adjust. So first off, we'll start with the Fabrics Innovation Upgrade Kit. And whilst this printer template is loading, you'll see that uh, we now have this grid that will help with aligning multiple different parts on your build tray. And this indicates that we've moved from a regular J850 mode into the Fabrics mode. So for the Fabrics uh, jig setup, we have a frame on the build tray that slightly reduces the effective printing area uh, f to 460 by 360 by 200. And we also have now within GrabCAD these 3D fashion options. So before I go through them, let's go off and bring in a model into GrabCAD print. Here's one I prepared earlier. And we have the ability to carry out all the functions within GrabCAD print that you know and love. We can uh, position our part, could go off and say rescale the model. We can uh, rotate the model. And I can also use now this uh, gimbal as well to, uh, to position the model as I want. Also, we have the ability to position the model uh, more precisely using here the uh, position tab I'd say I could uh, position in X to being uh, 150 and maybe Y to uh, uh, say 120 as well and there we go now let's take a look at these 3D fashion options first off we have the ability to print on fabric so this is a model that is deemed designed uh, formed of uh, multiple elements it's been designed to be printed on fabric and if I were running my printer in sort of regular J50 mode I wouldn't want to be printing directly on fabric I want there to be support underneath my model so I would uncheck that and then that will enable me to print uh, with sort of regular J850 type results if however we are printing on fabric we don't want to have support between our model and the substrate or fabric that you're printing on so we would uh, engage this option moving on down we've got the option to add an adhesion layer so many materials or substrates benefit from having an adhesion layer especially as uh, if I've say got a multiple colored model like I've got here the elements can uh, as they're printed the different colors um, can interact with the base material uh, or substrate in a different uh, way and cause non-uniform adhesion. So in order to ensure that we get the best possible of adhesion across our fabric, uh, we have the option to add, uh, say, a specific material that is going to help improve that. So the default is very clear uh, and we, depending on the fabric or the types of model that you're printing, you may want to choose uh, another option. Uh, similarly, we can adjust the thickness of this uh, coating or layer rather and that is going to uh, again the default for me typically works out but depending on the fabric type uh, maybe coarser fabrics or uh, fabrics with uh, um, uh, more rougher texture could benefit from having a thicker adhesion layer applied. Now we've got a very exciting feature which we call the uh, netting fabric insert and this lets you s define a point within your print where the printer will pause or stop so here it's after uh, 37 slices or one millimeter and that will enable you to start the print uh, the printer will automatically or you will receive a message to say that the printer has paused uh, to the email account registered with uh, GrabCAD and then you'll be able to come and insert a mesh or a net within uh, the jig and on top of the first part that's been printed then you'll be able to resume the print and the rest of the model will be able to be successfully printed and this will fully embed and encase your mesh or net within the model uh, creating parts that uh, really cannot be uh, removed or uh, disassembled 
And finally, we've got the option of printing uh, with uh, one UV lamp, and this has got uh, uh, maybe benefits in certain fabrics, and many of these options uh, can be better defined uh, and dialed in, depending on the project, the fabric that you're using, by initially printing a test with the fabric analyzer geometry. Now, if we move on to uh, the next printer option, which is the textile printer. Now, this printer has got a removable build tray uh, that enables you to print with larger fabrics or on larger fabrics. And uh, there you have a effective print area of 460 by 360 by 50. So let's go now and change this template to the uh, textile printer. And here, uh, if we go into our tray settings, the uh, main option we have is we have the ability to print with uh, this material, the Vero Contact Flex. So uh, let me go off and remove one of my uh, uh, materials from the build tray. And I'm going to go off and add the Vero Contact Flex. Now, in my model settings, I will be able to see the, uh, uh, if I select my model, we'll be able to see the option to have uh, here in more settings to add a coating. And the coating options gives me this uh, flex touch option, and that's using the Vero Contact Flex. So we've got again a definable thickness, and we've got now here two options. We can have full or smart. Now let's take a look at what that means. So here is my original option, and I can apply the uh, uh, contact flex material either as a coating directly on top of my model, which is great in, uh, in many applications, especially where I've got lots of small elements very close together, uh, to create a more uniform feel, or if I've got larger sized elements um, and they're spaced appropriately apart, I can apply the full option, and that is going to sort of fully cover over my model with the uh, contact flex material, enabling you to have these nice silky soft type models. Again, this isn't applied or, or this is only applied on the upper surface, not on the uh, underside of the model. So thank you very much for joining me today on this overview of the 3D fashion capabilities within GrabCAD Print. If you have any questions or issues, please feel free to reach out to us directly. Have a good day.